show started. All right, welcome to our regeneration class. I'm Coach Clint, and today we'll be going over some nice movements to get you up and moving. I'm using my nice calm voice today to keep you guys uh, in that Zen moment. Actually, it's because I have a napping child right over here on the bed next to me. Uh, joys of work from home. He's either with me or sleeping. So dad has to adjust. So it is Men's Health Month. Welcome to November, right? November, crazy that it's already November, but it is Men's Health Month. I can't grow a mustache. So I did not draw a picture for you today, but I did print a mustache because that's about as close as I'm going to get to a mustache. Let's see. There you go. That's about as close as I'm going to get to a mustache. So I'm trying to support where I can. Maybe I'll do a different mustache each time. Maybe I'll cut it out next time. But our tip for today, managing stress where you can. Manage stress. Balance work and family obligations can be challenging, but it's important to protect your mental and physical health. Stress is one of those things, and we've talked about it in class. I can add physical stress to you with this class, Work adds mental stress, life adds both. So sometimes it's good to make sure you take nice little breaks that can break that up because too much stress, and too much fight or flight, which is what we do when we're in stress, right? When we used to run away from saber tooth tigers and stuff, it's good to make sure that you have a way to manage that. So you guys have Headspace, guided meditation stuff, available to you through the Intel Vitality program. If you want to know more about that, please let me know. Uh, it's very good because you can tailor it to the kind of stress you have if it's anxiety, stuff like that. So it's a good tool to use. Classes like these are also good because you're putting your own stress in, but you're also able to get some movement in and make yourself feel better. And speaking of stress, Share this joke with at least one person today to help them with stress because you know dad jokes are the cure all for everything. So here's your dad joke for today. What did the man reply when he was asked? I must ask you a question. I must ask you a question. Okay, there's an answer to this. You gotta stick around to the end to find out. Um, and again, print yourself off a mustache, tape it to your face if you can't grow hair. That's what I did. Okay, here we go. We're going to start with a squat hamstring to bow pull. So it's a lot of movements all in one. So we're going to widen out our feet. Let's see if I can square up to the camera. We're going to widen up our feet. We're going to deep squat down. So deep squat down. Good squat here. Drop those hands down. Drive those hips up nice and high. Now from this position, I'm in that flat back position. I'm going to slide my right hand up and I'm going to reach up to the sky. Look where those fingers are coming. Good. I'm going to come back down to the ground. I'm going to deep squat back under. <sighs> Glue those hands to the ground again, this time going the opposite direction, reaching up with that opposite hand. Good. Bring it down. Tuck under. Deep squat. Good. Glue those hands. Drive it up. Rotate up towards the sky with that first hand again. We're going to go three on each side. Tuck down into that squat. Come up. Switch to the other side. Now try to be as flat back as you can when we're coming into that hamstring. Okay, I'm not curled over. I'm trying to keep my back active as I rotate up. You guys are getting to listen to Coach Clint's yoga voice today. Believe it or not, I did teach yoga in college. Bring it down and let's roll up nice and slow. Yoga for athletes. It was all football players, basketball players, a couple of volleyball players. Yeah, it was at like uh, 5.30 in the morning, something like that. It wasn't really yoga by the time I was done with it because I'm not very yoga-y. <laughs> I was yelling the whole time. All right, we're going to go reverse lunge with a leg sweep. So this one's a little challenging, okay? Uh, I want you to do your best, but we're gonna reverse lunge back, okay? Reverse lunge, we know. Take your knee right to the ground, nice and upright chest. Now we're gonna drive off this front leg. I'm gonna step up. I'm gonna come into that inverted hamstring position. Now I'm gonna turn my toe to the outside. Now, if you need to hang on to something, you can as I fall out of it, okay? Turn your toe to the outside. 
sweep that leg around like you're gonna kick something, come up to a standing position. Same leg, reverse lunge, step down, bring it all the way down, come up into that inverted hamstring, whoop, find your balance, kick that leg out, sweep it to the side. Stand up, let's go one more, reverse lunge. Come up, find that balance, turn that hip out, rotate around, stand up. Good, switching sides. Now I'm gonna face you for these ones, okay? So you can kind of see it from the front. Reverse lunge, step up, inverted hamstring. Now I turn my toe to the outside and I sweep that leg around like I'm gonna roundhouse kick somebody, come up. Now my foot's just hovering. Reverse lunge, press up, sweep it around. Hip mobility, uh, this is from a ballet company. Told you I'm gonna start bringing in ballet into this thing. Turn it, sweep it around and relax all in the hips, it's all in the hips. Okay, let's go ahead, go drop lunge next, drop lunge. So I'm gonna sweep my right leg in and behind. And actually I just noticed my camera's on, or my computer's on screen, sorry about that. Let's sweep our leg around into a drop lunge position, tap my knee to the ground. Okay, from here, the arm with the leg that's down. So in my case, it's right and right. I'm gonna press to the sky. Reach up, palm up, okay? I'm gonna reach over the top. Come back to center, stand up. Okay, let's switch sides, sweep it around the other way. Knee to the ground, left arm up, left leg down, palm up to the sky, reach over the top. Back to center, good, step up. Switch to the other side. Now, anytime we're doing these or anything where I say palm up, okay, and we're pressing to the sky, I want you to pretend like your lower body is stuck in mud and somebody's pulling you up to the sky with your hand, okay? Make yourself as long as possible. Same with when they're pulling, they're pulling you now this way, but your lower body's stuck in the mud, okay? Or a better reference, if you've ever watched The Princess Bride, go ahead and come up. You're stuck in lightning sand and somebody's trying to pull you out of the lightning sand, okay? Great movie, if you've never watched it. One of those parody movies, make you laugh. Press up, over the top. Told you I'm old. I know all these old movies. Back to center, let's do one more on each side. Okay, switch inside, sweep, down. Now today is more of our mobility work. So things are a little slower on Thursdays. We're really working through stretches and mobility. There's some core work in there too, but we're working on that mobility piece. If you have any questions as we go through these movements and stuff, you can throw it in the chat to everyone. It comes to my computer down here. You guys are way up there on my little screen. So if you send it to just coach, I might not see it right away. Okay. And unfortunately, this is a one-way camera, so I can't make adjustments to you. But if you have any questions, you can throw it in that chat and I can give you some tips and stuff. I will not call you out by name if you throw it in the coaches chat. If you throw it in the everyone chat, they'll see your name. Okay. So there is that. Let's go ahead and go into a plank position. Our last pre-movement. Okay. We're going to go ahead and go into a plank position. Okay, nice and strong here. You can bridge up just slightly, just push into a down dog just for a second, and then wedge yourself down into a good plank. Notice that my feet are not really close together. I'm at shoulder width apart. Let's go shoulder tap, opposite arm, opposite hand. So I'm sh shoulder tapping opposite arm to opposite hand. I'm trying to keep my hips as quiet as possible. As I shift side to side, let's go five on each side. Once you're done with your five, go ahead and come down to a quad position. 
We're just gonna do a couple of cat cows just to loosen up our back. Cat cow, if you don't know what that is, that's where we arch our back up. You can even hiss if you want to, <laughs> okay? And then we're gonna go into a back oof, tuck where I round my hips up, arch, tuck. Good. Now things should be kind of reset. Let's come up to our feet. We're gonna do our little bit of neural activation. Okay, about halfway through. What we're gonna do, reaching up. We're just gonna find a base position. So we're reaching up to the sky. When I say go, you're gonna drop into a base position, just dropping in, slight bend in your knees, butt goes back. Try to rip that floor apart, stay down till I tell you to come up. Okay, all the way up. Go, drop in, hold. Try to rip that floor apart. You can test yourself. If I'm loose here, right? If I push on my knees, it's gonna move. So I'm trying to tear the floor apart underneath my feet. Good, come up. Go. Good, notice my hands go back. Okay, test yourself. Feel those glutes. Are those glutes, glutes active, trying to pull things apart? Good, and up. Last one. Go. Hold, hold, hold. Rip that floor apart. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax. You would think that it's easier to talk quiet, but it's really not. It's making me more thirsty than when I talk loud. So I'm gonna take a quick drink of water. Please do so also. Get some water in. We'll just say that this is my meditation voice. Meditation voice. Let's see who's here today. Then we're gonna start with some stretches or end with some stretches. Oh, we got a good class today. Ajay, Alex, Doris, Glenn, and Ha. Hi guys, good to see you all. Ajay and I were talking about candy when we first started class today. I had a Tootsie Roll and a Snickers today. Snickers is legal, right? It's got nuts in it. <laughs> Tootsie Roll, not so much. All right, let's go ahead and hand walk down into a good down dog position. So I'm gonna slide my hands down. I'm gonna hand walk out into a good down dog position or as best I can, hips up, shoulders back. So I'm pushing those shoulders back relaxing my head down. Okay, now just like last time, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into a pigeon rotation, but today we're gonna go from this down dog. So go ahead and alternate your feet a couple of times. Now remember this is our stretching class, so it's gonna be based more on some holds with some breaths. Go ahead and take your left leg up towards the sky. We're gonna sweep it forward and into a pigeon position. So if a pigeon position, I'm bringing my lower part of my leg in front of my body. So I'm gonna sweep it forward as I come down into a plank. I'm gonna sweep it forward into this position, okay? The further forward I can get this, the more stretch I'm getting in that hip. And I'm trying to push my hip down into the ground, okay? It's okay to be up on your hands for right now. You can also adjust this foot out if you're more flexible and you can't quite get there without adjusting it. You can slide that leg forward. Go ahead and come down to your elbows if you can. If not, just stay on your hands, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna go in open rotation. So I'm opening up left leg. So my right arm, I'm gonna twist through my T-spine. I'm gonna reach up to the sky, leaving my left elbow and left knee attached to each other, rotating up. If you're a runner, this is a really good stretch post run because it's gonna loosen up your back and hips. Come down, let's go press into the floor. Now tuck that toe on that back leg underneath, straighten that leg, drive up into a plank, push back into that down dog. Okay, you can walk your feet a little bit if you want. Alternate those feet. We're gonna go right leg this time, right leg up. As I come forward into that plank, I swing that leg forward and come into that pigeon position. Okay, now see, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but this back hip is a long ways off the ground. So my goal 
is to try to sit that hip down to the ground. Okay, that's where that stretch is coming from. Okay, so I'm trying to sit that hip down with good position. So each time I'm trying to get a little closer to the ground, it's so much closer than it used to be. I used to need like three yoga blocks under that hip. Now I'm down to probably a yoga block. Takes time, bad position, bad form, comes after a long time. Go ahead and rotate up towards the sky. Remember right elbow, right knee, stay attached. Deep breaths. Make sure today with our breath, we're breathing in through our nose. Breathe in intentional. Breathe that air into where you're feeling the stretch. And then as you let it out, don't force it out. Just kind of relax that breath out. Just let it flow. Go ahead and come back. Press up. Tuck that back toe under. Drive up. We got one more on each side. Okay, so going back to that first side, going back to that left from me. Okay, so left leg up, sweep it forward, do a good pigeon. Now this side is a lot better, has a lot more flexibility in it. It was my plant leg back in the day when I was an athlete in soccer. Still not the best, but it's a lot better than my right side. Go ahead and rotate up. Now some of you, this front foot might be out straight in front of you, which is awesome. Okay, got more hip mobility. That's great, okay? So if it doesn't quite look like mine, that's fine. If it's even closer in, that's fine, okay? It has taken time, and it's not like mine's that far out, but it's taken time to get there. Go ahead and relax down, press up. Also doing like shin boxes and stuff. Tuck that toe, drive up, press back. Right leg up, sweep forward, into that good pigeon, relax down, deep breaths. Sorry, I was being a little forceful on those last couple of breaths. I just wanna remember, breathe in, intention into where the stretch is, and just kind of release, just let things go on the out. Sometimes when you're coaching, it's hard because you're trying to breathe in between words. But for you guys, I mean, even if you want to, you could close your eyes. You know what the stretch is. I'll kind of cue you through to when to change. Okay, but if you want to close your eyes and really breathe into those structures that we're working on, Think of it as waves of the ocean. Go ahead and come back down. Tuck that back toe under, press up. Into the down dog one last time. Alternate those feet one last time. Alternate those feet. Come down into a quad position or all fours. Okay, now I'm gonna face you for this one. So quad position, make sure your knees are under your hips and your hands are under your shoulders. Okay, we're gonna stay upright for the first one. So I'm staying right up, nice and flat back. I'm gonna take my right hand, put it behind my head. Okay, I'm gonna hold my back of my head. I'm gonna tuck that elbow underneath the other side, and then rotate up towards the sky. T-spine rotation. Okay, tuck under, rotate up. Good, I'm always looking where this elbow's going. Now go ahead and sit back on your heels. Okay, breathe in as you go under. Breathe out as you open up. You try to go into that stretch just a little bit more. Good, tuck under. And breathe out. Now this one, you can breathe a little more forcefully on the open. So you're trying to use that breath to open up even further. Good, last one, tuck under. Open up. And come back to center. Sit back up into that quad position. So again, just in a good hands and knees position. 
Take your left hand, reach behind your head. Now you have two in this upright position, tuck under, open up. You feel a difference when you're in the quad position. So upright, good, tuck under. And when we go into the down position, or sitting on our heels. Do you feel a difference? Feel what your back feels like. Feel which one you like better. Go ahead and sit back. Let's get three more. Open up and close down. So when we're doing all these stretches, that's the thing I want you to focus most on. I can show you what the stretch is. I can walk you through them. I can give you cues, but I want you to feel what your body is telling you. Okay, your body's going to tell you when to stop. Your body's going to tell you where your endpoints are. Then it's your goal to push just past, not into pain, but just past that endpoint just to get that little extra stretch and then come back and relax. Okay, this next part. We are going to go ahead and go into a bear crawl. So this one is all core activation. So we are going to crawl just like a baby kind of ish. Okay. We're going to tuck our toes under. Okay. You don't need much space. All I need is enough space to do at least a couple of steps forward and back. Okay. Make sure we're trying our best to go opposite arm, opposite leg. So I tuck my toes. I bridge up to where my knees are just hovering off the ground. And I'm just gonna crawl forward, nice and slow and controlled. Okay, once I run out of space, I'm gonna go backwards, just like that. Good, trying to keep my back nice and flat, not arched way up, trying to stay nice and flat and controlled. Good, one more time back. and relax. Now, if you did more than 10, that's great. If you were around that 10 mark, it's about what I got. I did about five forward, five back. And then that's where you run out of time, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and go into our next piece, which is a single leg RDL again, kind of like what we did at the beginning, but this time it's an isometric hold. So we're using our glute, we're using our core to stay stable. And we're gonna do some T's, okay? Important with our T's, trying to keep your thumbs up towards the sky as we're in a T position, okay? So single leg RDL, I'm gonna hover my right leg. I'm gonna slightly bend my left. I'm gonna come down and try to make myself as flat as I possibly can. Long from my heel to the top of my head. And I'm gonna do a T. So I'm gonna squeeze my shoulder blades, lift my arms, Thumbs try to go up. You have five of those nice and slow. Go with me. So I'm gonna count you five seconds up. Five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze and let it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, good, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, good, last one, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, and come up, switch sides. Okay, switch your side, quarter squat down. Should be really tired in your glute now. Fall down into that good position. Make yourself nice and long. You got your T's. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. 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 Five, four, 
three, two, one, two more, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, last one, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, and come up. Ooh, those glutes feel good. Getting sweaty right at the end. Okay, our last piece today. Okay, we're gonna go down onto the ground. So while I read our quote today, we're just gonna hold in a hollow body hold position. Okay, so we're gonna work that core one last time. Gonna lay on our back, bring our legs out, and try to keep your chest just off the ground. Okay, if you wanna make it a little harder, you can sit up, find that rocking chair position. Okay, but your choice on how you wanna go. We're gonna stay in that as I read our quote for today. And it's based on health, okay? So it's not a deep quote today. Just something to think about. Ready, here we go. Get yourself ready, get yourself set, locked in. Your health can be judged by what you take two of, pills or stairs. So think about that. Are you working on your fitness? Are you working on your strength and conditioning? Are you working on eating healthier? Or are you working on just taking, you know, two Advil every couple hours to stay out of pain? Go ahead and relax out. Good. Just kind of an interesting thought as I was looking into some men's health tips and stuff. It is so funny how a lot of times when we're in pain, instead of doing something like a headspace where we try to reset our mental space or doing a stretch break or something, we look at what can I take? I'm very, very guilty of this. I have migraines. And instead of doing something to try to calm my brain, maybe take some time, maybe do some stretches. A lot of times it's just, what can I grab to take to get rid of this? A lot of times it might take a lot longer, but there are healthier paths to it. So just think about that as you go forward um, with some aches and pains and stuff like that. We always have little stretches, little things that we can maybe help you with through this program too. And again, just like the beginning, if you're having some stress, stress will add to pain. So think of things like headspace or any guided meditation you like and kind of use that to facilitate that easy living. Easy living, not a thing. All right. And remember, share this joke with at least one person today. Okay, that's your goal. One person, at least. You can email it to them. You don't even have to take credit for it. You can say, listen to what my coach said today. I'll, I'll take the fall. It's okay. I'll do it. What did the man reply when he was asked? I must ask you a question. He said, can you shave it for later if it's not hairy important? Man, so many puns in that. It's not even funny. Uh, or is it funny? I love it. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Again, can you shave it for later if it's not hairy important? All right. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Remember, have a great weekend. Enjoy yourself. Be safe. Be happy. Go enjoy some sunshine if it's around you or go stomp in some mud puddles if it's like you, me here. Um, just go enjoy what you got. Thank you for everything. If you need any help, as always, you can always reach out to me at clintx.carlson at Intel. I'd love to set up time to talk goals. Uh, see what you got for the plans for the rest of this year and maybe the beginning of next year. We have that available. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you for your time. Have a great rest of your day and we'll talk soon. Bye, everyone. Thanks for allowing me to be quiet. Make sure that you get your mustache question in there today. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>